Today we'll break down the most easiest and at the same time the most important problem. So focus enough on critical thinking and problem solving. For deep learning, adapt the techniques which I teach you today and take solving into your own hands. Today's most important topic from regression is the angle between the two regression lines. So as this is very important and the repeated question, see here there are two lines as you know that let the lines of the regressions of x on y and y on x are respectively given as these. And we have to find the angle between the t's, these two lines and which is so important. See, let me start with the equation that is the regression line of y on x and x on y. See, first of all, I am considering the regression line of y, x on y. So, if it is a x on y, so what we have to do? So, we have to start with x and end up with y. So, as I said you, it's very easy to understand this is x minus x bar. The first one is x minus x bar. It is x on y. So, r times of this is x on this is y into this is y minus y bar. So, the regression line of x on y will be this is we have to start with x that is x minus x bar r times of x is on y and we have to end up with y. So, this is the easiest way which we have to remember. So, in this I need y minus y bar. So, here if I take y minus y bar to one side, so here this is y minus y bar is equal to, so I have to send this as sigma y and r into sigma x to other side. So this will go up in the numerator, that is a sigma y by. So this is going to come in the denominators, that is r into sigma x into this is x minus x bar. See here, I am considering this y minus y bar and this will be sigma y into y divided by r into sigma x into x minus x bar. So this will be the equation 1 and see this is the regression line of x on y. So this is of the form y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. Now we got the slope m as see here this will be the m slope that is m1 is equal to this is a sigma y by r into sigma x. So this is the slope needed in order to calculate our angle here and the next one the regression line of y on x so here this is y on x so we have to start with y and we have to end up with x see how to remember this one we have to start with y that is y minus y bar is equal to r times of this is y on x sigma y by sigma x and we have to close with x that is x minus x bar so, as it is already in the form y minus y is equal to m into x minus x1. So, this will be m that is slope here. So, we got slightly the slope as the slope m2 is equal to this is r into sigma y by this is a sigma x. So, we got the second slope also. After getting the two slope, we are ready to find out the angle between the two regression lines here. So, here let theta be the angle between the two regression lines of y on x and x on y. So, here what is the formula here and let me show you the formula here tan theta is equal to this is tan theta is equal to m1 minus m2 by 1 plus this is m1 into m2 clear and now see here now I am going to substitute m1 and m2 if I substitute m1 and m2 this is tan theta is equal to what is m1 here so m1 will be sigma y by r into sigma x so this will be sigma y by r into this is a sigma x minus what is m2 here this is r into sigma y by this is a sigma x divided by this is 1 plus what is m1 here so m1 is equal to sigma y by r into sigma x dot what is m2 here m2 is nothing but r into this is a sigma y by this is a sigma x clear so this is m1 this is m2 m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 clearly we can cancel this one r so i am cancelling this r here so if i cancel this r and see what remains here and now see i am going to take the lcm and in the numerator and the denominator see here now this is a sigma y by sigma x is here and sigma y by sigma x is here. Therefore, tan theta is equal to, if I take sigma y by sigma x common here, then what remains here? Sigma y by sigma x 
then this is 1 by r. If I take sigma y by sigma x common, this will be r here divided by, see here, this will be 1 plus. So, if I multiply, this will be sigma y square by, here this will be sigma x square. So, this will be sigma x square. Now, we have to calculate tan theta value. So, tan theta value will be, see tan theta value will be, this is a sigma y by sigma x, this is 1 by r minus r. So, if I send, so if I take sigma x square, sigma x square as an LCM, this will be sigma x square plus a sigma y square. And now, this will be tan theta value is equal to. So, if I bring this to other side, so 1 by r minus r. So, this will be sigma y by sigma x. So, if I take to the numerator, if I take the reciprocal of this, this will be sigma x square by, this is a sigma x square plus a sigma y square. Clear? So, I have brought this and this one, this is sigma y by sigma x and this one, if I make a reciprocal, this will be sigma x square by sigma x x square plus sigma y square. Now, what I can cancel here? So, I can cancel sigma x for one time. Clear? And now, see here, tan theta value will be, tan theta value is equal to, if I take r common, this will be 1 minus r square. If I multiply these two, this will be sigma x into, this is sigma y by, this is a sigma x square, this will be sigma y square. And therefore, we got the angle between the two regression lines as, therefore, angle between, angle between the two regression lines, the two regression lines, that is x on y and y on x. So, y on x is equal to, see here, tan theta value is equal to, it is very easy to remember, we have to take r square from 1 divided by r into, we have to make a product of this standard deviation, the sigma x into sigma y by sum of the squares of the standard deviations, sigma x square plus sigma y square. So, this is the tan theta value which you have to remember here. So, this is the tan theta value and there is some note here to identify here. So, this is nothing but 1 by r square by r into sigma x into sigma y by sigma x square plus sigma y square. So, here there is a note here. If theta is acute angle, then same as it is tan theta value is equal to 1 by r square by r into sigma x into sigma y by sigma x square plus sigma y square. If theta is acute, same. If theta is an obtuse angle, so here there is a reciprocal of this. Tan theta is equal to r square minus 1 by r into the product of the standard deviation by the sum of the squares of the standard deviation. So, if r is equal to 0 here, if I put r is equal to 0, then this will be infinity, then theta value will be pi by 2 here. Thus, if thus there is no relationship between the two variables, they are independent and tan theta value is equal to pi by 2 here. And if r is equal to plus or minus 1, so in place of this, if I keep minus 1 or plus 1, 1 minus 1, this will be 0 and 0 into anything will be 0 and tan theta value is equal to 0 and theta is equal to 0 or pi. Hence, the two regression lines are parallel or coincident. The correlation between the two variables is perfect. See here, there is a note here. After finding the angle, if it is an acute, the problem, um, the tan theta value will be as it is. If it is obtuse angle, so here there is a minus interchange between the variables that is r square minus 1 by r into the product of the standard deviations divided by the sum of the squares of the standard deviations. If r is equal to 0, then tan theta is equal to infinity, then theta is equal to pi by 2 and here they are independent. And next one, if r is equal to 1, then tan theta is equal to 0, then theta is equal to 0 or theta is equal to pi. And hence, the two regression lines are parallel or coincident. Then, the correlation between the two variables is perfect. And let's start with one problem here. If theta is an angle between the two regression lines and standard deviation of uh, y is twice that of the standard deviation of x and r is equal to 0 0.25, then find tan theta. So, here if theta... See, it's so easy that if theta is an angle between the two regression lines, two regression lines and standard deviation of y is twice the standard deviation of x. So, here 
as it is a very easy concept here so first thing here is what is given here so first of all we have to write tan theta value what is tan theta value just now i have told you 1 minus r square by r into the product of the standard deviations sigma x into sigma y by the sum of the squares of the standard deviations so as it is very easy to remember keep it as it is and here what are given here standard deviation of x is given as sd of x standard deviation of x is equal to this is a sigma x here standard deviation of y is see here standard deviation of y that is sigma y sigma y is twice see this is two times of standard deviation of x this is standard deviation of x here Standard deviation of x is sigma x as it is and standard deviation of y is equal to 2 times of uh, sigma x and this is given and here r is also given as 0 0.25. So here r value is given as 0 0.25. Now I am going to substitute here. So if I substitute here then what happens? Then tan theta value is equal to see here tan theta is equal to 1 minus r square that is 1 minus 0 0.25 whole square divided by r is equal to 0 0.25 and here sigma x is as it is a sigma x and sigma y value sigma y value is equal to 2 times of sigma x this is 2 times of sigma x divided by sigma x is as it is plus what is sigma y here sigma y is equal to 2 times of this is a sigma x whole square clear 2 times of sigma x whole square now tan theta value is equal to tan theta value is equal to 1 minus this value is a 0 0.0625 divided by 0 0.25 and here this will be 2 times of sigma x square x square here this will be sigma x square this is 4 times of sigma x whole square clear and here our tan theta value is equal to so here this will be 3.75 and here this will be 2 times of sigma x square this is 1 plus 4 this is 5 into sigma x square so if i cancel this one so tan theta value tan theta value is equal to 3.75 into this is 2 by 5 and therefore tan theta value if you use your can see this will be 1.5 so this is how we have to solve and after seeing the textbook See here, this value is nothing but 0 0.15. These are all the steps which you have to take. Here, sigma x is standard deviation of x is standard deviation of x is as it is like sigma x and standard deviation of y is equal to 2 times of sigma x and r value is equal to 0 0.25 and here tan theta value is also so simple 1 minus r square by r into the product of the standard deviations by sigma x square plus sigma y square is the formula if you substitute definitely you will get and the next one is if sigma x is equal to sigma y is equal to sigma and the angle between the regression line is tan inverse of 4 by 3 then we have to find r and this is also very very important and this is also so simple i'll solve so here sigma x is equal to sigma y is equal to r and angle between the regression lines is given as theta is given as this one we have to find r value and now for finding an r see here as usual in the solution tan theta what is tan theta value just now i have told you tan theta value is equal to this is 1 minus r square by r into the product of the standard deviations by the sum of the squares of the standard deviation so it is also so simple to remember the formula here and here what is given here sigma x is equal to sigma y is equal to sigma so here sigma x is equal to sigma y is equal to sigma sigma now if i substitute tan theta tan theta is equal to this is 1 minus r square by r so this will be sigma and this will be sigma this will be sigma square and this will be sigma square and here tan theta value is equal to 1 minus r square by r this will be sigma square so this will be 2 into sigma square so if i cancel this one these two and uh, this will be tan theta value tan theta is equal to 1 minus r squared by r into this value is equal to half and it is also given that theta value is equal to see here the angle the angle theta value is equal to tan inverse of 4 by 3 so here 
theta is equal to theta is given as this is tan inverse of angle is given as tan inverse of 4 by 3 so this is equation 1 if I substitute theta value in equation 1 then this will become so since theta value is equal to tan inverse of 4 by 3 if I substitute so if I send theta theta as a tan inverse of so this will be tan of so this is already tan here this is in place of theta as tan inverse of 4 by 3 this will be 1 minus r square by r into 1 by 2 tan tan inverse got cancelled and 4 by 3 is equal to this is 1 minus r square by 2r so if you cross multiply this will be 8r is equal to if i cross multiply this will be 3 minus 3r 3 square so if i bring this to other side 3r square plus 8r minus 3 is equal to 0 3 3 is a 9 so this will be 3r square so this will be 9r minus r minus 3 0 and if you take 3r common this will be r plus 3 if i take minus common this will be r plus 3 so if i take r plus 3 common this will be 3r minus 1 is equal to 0 so if i equate it to 0 so this is r plus 3 is equal to 0 this is 3r this is 3r minus 1 is equal to 0 so if i equate so r will be minus 3 and r will be 1 by 3 so we need to find out the r value so if this value is given when the angle is given as tan inverse of 4 by 3 therefore r value is so clear as minus 3 as well as 1 by 3 so here r value is so clear as see here from the textbook so sigma x is equal to sigma y is equal to sigma so theta value is this one so after substituting theta is equal to tan inverse so this is the equation here after solving we got r is equal to 1 by 3 or r is equal to minus 1 by 3 since r value lies between minus 1 and plus 1 so we cannot have r is equal to minus 3 and therefore we have to consider r is equal to 1 by 3 so here r value ranges from minus 1 and plus 1 so this is this doesn't suit and r value is equal to 1 by 3 only adjust in our relation here so therefore this is how we have to solve and this is most important the angle of uh, the angle between the two regression lines is also very important and the problem based based on this are also very important please go through this video for one more time if you don't understand and if you really like you know what to do please share it with as many friends as you can that is the greatest help needed to this channel and thank you for staying till the end and watching the whole video thank you so much